America's answer to poker stars. When Black Friday happened back in 2011, American players pretty much got the shaft when it came to online poker. However, along comes America's Card Room as part of the Winning Poker Network, and they basically just copied, almost exactly copied, the VIP program of Poker Stars, giving people the option of continuing to play in the United States and it continues until today. In this video, I'm going to go through all the major details of America's Card Room and tell you everything you need to know to decide whether this is the place for you to play or whether you should look elsewhere. So I'm going to focus on the things that are most important in your decision-making process for the vast majority of players. First of all, is America's Card Room rigged? No. No online poker room is rigged, except the fact that the worse you are as a player, the more money you're going to lose, right? Online poker sites, no matter how many ways you argue it, people will try and argue this with me. It's just crazy, man. What does an online poker room have to gain from rigging the games? And who, specifically, are they rigging it against? Are they rigging it against the good players? Well, why would they want to run off the best players? They're the ones that generate the most rake. Why would they want the worst players to do worse so why would they rig it against them? Because then you don't have people depositing. So there's absolutely no reason for the games to be rigged, and you can just take my word for it. If you have any doubt that the games are rigged or not, and you want to complain about it, it's probably because you're on a downswing or having a bad streak, and you just, you're seeing so many hands per hour, and you see all these bad beats, and you think, oh, it must be rigged. No. It's not rigged, you're just on a downswing, or you're not a winning player. It's just that simple. So basically, when you play on America's Card Room, you've got two options. You can either choose the direct rakeback route, which is 27% rakeback, or you can go with a PokerStars, old PokerStars style VIP system. Now, I've done the research. In order to make the most quote unquote effective rakeback, you would need to rake at least about $700 a month in order to overtake the direct rake back system. So if you're a low volume player and you rake below $700, you will want to go with the rake back system. Take the 27% rake back. If you're a high volume player, you definitely want to go with the VIP system. Let me put it in perspective though for you. If you're playing 10 and L, you know, 5 cent, 10 cent, you would have to play about 118,000 hands in order for it to make sense for you to be on the VIP system. If you're playing 25 and L, you need to play 44,000 hands a month. 50 and L, you only need to play 25,000 hands. So if you're a serious player and you're playing 50 and L and above, you probably, there's probably a really good chance you would be much better off in the VIP system. So the way it works is you gain ranks as you gain more VPPs or VIP points. You start at Lieutenant, and once you hit 750, you hit Captain, then you hit Major, then you hit Colonel, then you hit General. As you can see, it's a military theme. And Five Star General is the Supernova Elite equivalent. You also gain Medals of Achievement as you go. First, you start out getting these $10 rewards, then you start getting $50 rewards, and then you get 100 and finally a $200 award once you hit the supernova equivalent of general at 100,000 rate RPs, I guess is what they call it, but it's basically it's basically VPP points, just like poker stars. Also, higher volume players can take advantage of the beast, which is basically just a rake race. It's a glorified rake ba uh, rake race. Now, this can be a significant increase to your effective rake back. So, if you're playing high volume, you want to at least get that last place because it'll make a big difference as far as your rake back is concerned or the burden of rake that you're paying. So basically you gain one beast point for every two cents that is in, put into the pot or whatever. And of course, America's Card Room uses the weighted contributed rake method to calculate its rake. So the more rake you contribute, the more beast points you gain. It used to be where if you just sat out, you would be gaining these beast points for being on a table, but that's no longer the case. So the higher VPIP players will gain more beast points per hand per hour, right? If that makes sense. 
And if you happen to be a sit and go player, there's also something called the sit and crush. And, you know, there's different tiers, I think four tiers. Payouts range from anywhere from $50 all the way up to like $1,250. And for the sit and crush, you need, um, I believe every dollar you pay in fees, you get about five reward points that go toward your leaderboard ranking. And now that we're talking about rewards and things like that, ACR or America's Card Room, the winning poker network, has definitely the highest and best rewards you can get in the U.S. No other site is giving people these 27 to 50 percent rate back, effective rate, rate back from either VIP system or direct rate back. If you want to get those kind of numbers, you have to play in America's Car Room. However, keep in mind that that means there's a lot more good players that go to this site to get these rewards, which makes the games a heck of a lot tougher than sites that don't have these VIP systems. So it's kind of a tug and pull. Either you want to play a lot of tables or play a lot of volume and get your win rate from rig back, or you play on a softer site, and like Ignition Poker, for example, and you try to get your, you just have a higher win rate and not need the rig back. So you have to just decide what style do you want to play. If you like getting a lot of rewards and playing a high volume and playing with better players, then America's Card Room is probably a good place for you. Now let's briefly just run through a few aspects of America's Card Room that you might have questions about. One thing I hear is what is the traffic? Well, the ACR traffic is about the same or a little bit less maybe than the other number one site in the U.S. It's probably almost a tie by now. It's difficult to say for different reasons how many players actually play on these poker sites, but ACR is going to have enough at least at the low, micro, low, and mid stakes, going to have enough games running to keep anybody happy just about 24-7. The peak time to be playing on ACR is between 9 p.m. and about midnight. This is when you'll see the most traffic. Usually there's between 1,000 and 1,500 players playing on average during the 24-hour peak on this site. And the maximum tables you can play in cash games is about, I think it's 24 tables. So... If you really wanted to play, you can definitely get 24 tables, and at peak times, probably 24 tables of 50 or even 100 in L. So if you miss the old days of Poker Stars, where you were able to fire up just a ton of tables and just grind it out and build some rate right back, this is the site for you. Now let's talk a little bit about banking. It's most people know what the banking is like on most poker sites, uh, but it's just the normal stuff. Bitcoin is the major way to get money on and off poker sites now. And if you don't have Bitcoin, I recommend signing up at Coinbase. Just go to the link in the description below and you'll get free Bitcoins for signing up through my link. I think it's $10. So it's definitely, if you're going to sign up for Bitcoin, go to my description, click on the Coinbase link and sign up and get your free money. The other deposit options are the typical Visa, MasterCard, American Express. They will often get declined, so it's not the best way to deposit. But if you're putting a small amount of money on the site, it can be still a decent option. Otherwise, there are some other cryptocurrencies you could use if you're into that. Um, you can do even Western Union MoneyGram type stuff. Or if you have a friend that plays on the site, they can transfer you some money player to player. There's multiple options to get money on the site, so that should not be an issue for most people. Oh, and while we're on the subject, I work hard on doing this review and finding this information out, and I've played millions of hands on this site. So I've taken the time to do this. So if you don't mind, if you decide to play on America's Card Room, please go down to my description and click the link and go over to the deposit page. You'll have two links. If you decide to do rate back, you have one link to cl click on, and that will be clear in my description. If you want to go directly for the VIP system, click on the other link. It would help me out tremendously, and I really appreciate it. And by the way, if you do choose one method of either rate back or VIP and you decide to change later, you can do it one time on America's Card Room. So if, if, you, turn, if you start out there at the micro stakes and you want to do rate back up until you're you know, raking $700 a month or whatever and then switch over to, over to the other system, you're, you can do that. And I actually highly recommend doing that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the software and go through some of the features and then I'll show you what the tables look like and what you can expect when you sit down at the tables. First of all, if you go to the options up here on the top, you'll be uh, greeted by this window. There's a lot of ways to customize. They definitely, definitely do 
cater to the stronger players and the players that are serious about sitting down and having their experience be the best and playing as many tables as possible. You'll notice you have multiple options when it comes to how you set up your tables, how avatars are shown, you know, lots of different things. You can see that here. Um, there's many themes. There's actually 27 themes to pick from, different colors, different ways you can make it look at the tables. You know, I prefer just your standard gray or black background, something like this. That's what I use. Um, you can choose between two color and four color decks, up to six different type of decks and 11 different card backings. I go with yellow just because I like to never miss out on somebody sneaking into a hand. So if I'm in a three-way pot, I want to know that I'm in a three-way. And if you're mass multi-tabling, it's very easy to miss somebody sitting up in a corner. But if they've got yellow cards in front of them on a black background or gray background, it's very, very hard to miss it. And that's the reason I go with these high-colored yellow card backs. Sounds, I don't use sound, but if you did, you, you could set your default sounds. And in fact, if you don't like these sounds, you can go into your files in your Winning Poker Network or America's Card Room folder and put in some other different sounds. For a while, I actually had changed it to sounds from the original Poker Stars because I just was used to those sounds back in 2011 and 12 or whatever. But now I just go with no sound and I'm fine, right? So if you want to set a particular buy-in amount, you can go table maximum, minimum, whatever you want. You can do auto top-up so you don't have to worry about being sat out at the table if you happen, unfortunately, to get stacked. So there's lots of different ways to set that up. Um, you can set your preferred seating to whatever you want. This is all good stuff, right? This is something that anybody that's serious about poker will want these features on their site. And if you want to take a look at what your rewards look like, you can do that as well. Just click the rewards tab and you can go in and see what you look like for your VIP system, what ranking you currently are. Now I don't play currently on this site very much, so I have very little. I have what, 273 combat points. And so I'm just a, a lowly lieutenant, but you can follow your progress. You can see how far you've got to go to your next um, award, which will be $10 at 750 rank points. I'm at 200. So I'm still quite a ways away from there. If I happen to play any, I would get there, right? Um, back in PokerStars days, I had as many as 100,000. I had hit Supernova before. On this site, I think back when I was chasing the beast, I got close to it in one year, something like 80,000. I don't remember. I may have even gotten 100,000. But there's a big benefit to getting that 100,000 because you can cash in your combat points for prizes and even money by doing the points exchange. So as you can see, you can exchange it. You can get a dollar for 100 combat points, which I could do right now. And you can get up to $10,000 for however many rank points that is. I, I can't see that because it's covered by red, but you can find all this information out once you click over to the site um, and see for yourself. Um, so this is all cool stuff. And if you're into this and you want the VIP system, this is what it will look like when you're on the site. So now I'm gonna pull up about four tables so you can guys can see what the gameplay looks like here at the cash games. I'm just, I've only got a hundred bucks on this site, so I'm gonna pull up some one cent, two cent tables just so you can get a feel for what it looks like and all that good stuff. So here we are, I have four tables up. You'll notice the software is really clean looking. It's really attractive, it's fast, uh, it's smooth. I don't really have any problems with the software. The features are good. Um, the actions are easy to do. You can do min bets, half pot, three quarter pot, all ends whatever you want to do, or you can just go by the scent here and do it this way. It's very clean, very easy on the eyes, and playability is pretty good. By the way, if you see these heads-up displays on my table and you like the way those look, I do recommend Hold a Manager for Play on America's Card Room. There's a link in the description below to be taken to find out more information on that software. And also, if you like the way the, tiles are, the tables are tiled, you'll notice that I can pull a table out. I can snap it right back in. I use a software called Table Tamer to arrange my tables. You can do automatic bet sizings, all kinds of good stuff, right? And also a link to that will be in the description as well. Both of those software will make your experience much more enjoyable, especially if, if you play a reasonably high volume on this poker side. But if you're recreational and you're not doing this very often, then you don't need those fancy software, so don't even worry about it. But if you do and you want to look into it, you know, go to my links down below and find out more. So you can see it's easy to do my opening raises. The yellow card backings allow me to see exactly who's got cards and who's in the hand. And, you know, besides this, really nothing extra special. I mean, they do have a good uh, previous hand um, replayer here that you can pull up. Um, so you can see what happened on the last hand. If you're in between hands and you want to know, you don't remember, 
um, you can do that as well. Um, and you can go through the entire hand. So that does it for the gameplay. So now we'll talk about who can play and where you can be from to play on America's Card Room. Now, many people from around the world can play on America's Card Room. It's not just for American players. However, in America, um, I'm not going to give you exact, the exact states because I know this might change over time. So you might be watching this a year, a year or two after I record this. So what I will say is if it's a regulated state, you're not going to be able to play here. Or if it's a state that has laws on the books that don't allow people to play online poker, such as Washington State as of 2020, and also, I believe, Kentucky. There might be some others. So check your local state regulations to see if you're allowed to play online poker at America's Car Room. Or you can just try signing up and click my link in the description. If it doesn't let you sign up, it'll tell you why. You're from this certain country, whatever, and it will give you that information. As for the games offered on America's Card Room, you have your standard No Limit Hold'em, your Limit Hold'em, you have Omaha, they even have Stud. Uh, they have something called Blitz Poker, which is very similar to Fast Fold Poker you'll see on PokerStars or other sites like Ignition. Um, you'll have Jackpots, which most people know what that is. There, You play as a three-player table and everybody plays for the top prize. It's winner take all. And at the beginning of the games, uh, a jackpot is decided. And on here, you can play it for a million dollars all the way starting at the $5 level. So basically, you're playing like a lottery ticket. It's hard to be a winner in these games over the long term. If you can win these at these games and make money without getting a giant jackpot at some point, you are a beast of a player, and that's just the way it works. You can multi-table these. You can sign up for basically up to 10 at once if you really wanted to. And you can just keep these going. You can mass multi-table. And that's a lot of options. Actually, it's a lot of fun to play these. I really enjoy them. I've never had a big jackpot, but I do enjoy playing them. Tournaments on America's Car Room are decent. I would say that there are... Um, Ignition Poker's probably got a better schedule. But the higher buy-ins and the higher winnings are probably going to come from America's Car Room. On the other hand, the games are going to be tougher here as well, so that might balance things out. I prefer Ignition. I don't like the way the tournaments are set up on ACR because they have these re-entries, and they seem to just last forever. Look at this, four-hour late registration. That's just ridiculous in a poker tournament. I like freeze-outs or a very low re-registration point or re-entry point. That way we can just get on with it and not trying to... I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to beef up their guarantees by allowing people to keep re-entering. And I just, I just don't like the model. If you don't care and you have just hours and hours and hours to throw like a time sink in the poker tournaments, then by all means, the schedule is good here. They have these series throughout the year. There's plenty of options um, for you. And so it wouldn't be a terrible place if you're a full-time tournament player. Of course, they have the traditional sit-and-goes. Heads-up sit-and-goes are really popular. So if you are a casino or a sports better, you have options here as well. You can pretty much find any game you want, blackjack, all the slots, everything you can think of. Lay them to your heart's content on America's Card Room. If you're finding that America's Card Room doesn't necessarily appeal to you or maybe you're just not sure, I did a video on all of the major poker sites with high traffic in the United States for players to decide where they want to play. So click the link in the description, or I'll put one above right here. Click it, watch the video, and I made it specifically for people like you to decide where you want to play. And, and there's a world of difference between these poker sites, and choosing the wrong place to play is a really, really bad idea. So click over, watch the video, and make your decision that way. Also, if you're enjoying this review, be sure to click that like button and subscribe to the channel. I have strategy content you know, more reviews, lots of things. If you're a poker fan, you definitely want to be a member of the channel because I'll give ongoing content. If you did decide that this is the place you want to play and you're 100% sure, once again, please click the link in the description, sign up through me. It would be a tremendous help to me. I appreciate it. To summarize, if you're a high volume player, if you like a lot of rewards, you don't mind playing with better competition, and you just like clean software that works really well, or you miss PokerStars and the way its software was set up, and the reward system and all that, then you're going to love America's Card Room. So this is definitely the place for you if that's the case. Oh, and by the way, I will be playing on this account, some on this side in the next few weeks. I go on and off this side. I play Ignition. I play here a while. So if you see me at the tables, you see my name here at the top, Friskinar, be sure to say hi and tell me you watch this video, and I'll go easy on you at the tables. I'm just kidding. Thanks. So thanks for watching and everybody enjoy the rest of their day.